Well, fellow pilgrims, I assume that, like me, you use YouTube videos as a break from your more serious studying. That's why I try to inject a little bit of levity into the Gengo Notabi videos. Last time we ran into Mimi, she told us to study now. Well, she's back, and she caught us daydreaming. She's not happy. <laughs> I said, What are you doing, you dumbass? Get back to studying. Always fucking around, dumbass. <laughs> I think this phrase calls for a little bit of explanation. Fortunately, we have Ryan from Japanoscope here to help us. Hello, my name is Ryan. I'm in Kobe, Japan, and right behind me here is beautiful Kobe. I've lived in Japan for almost 13 years and I use Japanese in my daily life. Now I'm going to help you understand this sentence. The first part of it is Nani o yatten no? Nani means what? O is a particle we put before verbs. Yatten no is a contraction of the two words yatte iru and no. Uh, yatte iru is a casual form of the verb suru. The dictionary form of the verb yatte iru is yaru. We double the T in yatte iru. That double T is called a sokuon. And the reason we double the T is because the verb yaru is a godan verb. All godan verbs are conjugated that way. Yes, what's your question? I still don't understand. The next part of the phrase is bakayaro. Bakayaro can be translated as dumbass or stupid idiot. The next part of the phrase is ima binkyo shinasai. The word ima means now. Binkyo or binkyo suru means study. And shinasai is the command form for suru. And we often use uh, nasai or shinasai when uh, parents are speaking to their children or when teachers are speaking to their students. And the next part of the phrase is itsumo guzu guzu shite and guzu guzu means to dilly dally and shite shite is like uh, it's the te form of the verb suru and it's like adding a dot 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 after you type something in English it's kind of an unfinished thought or a continuing thought and finally the last word is baka which means stupid or stupid idiot I hope this helped you understand this phrase better. Thanks.